Welcome to Labyrinthine. This is a VR and desktop co-op horror game that is absolutely terrifying, especially in VR. What the f Yo, who's there? So I've had Labyrinthine for a while now, and I used to play it with my buddies back in the day. But the reason I wanted to try playing it again is because I was scrolling through Steam and I saw it when it won VR game of the year. So I was like, no way, I gotta check this out in VR. So it's exactly what I did. Alright. Yeah, so game of the year, but my game is completely broken. Uh how the f did this guy get in my game? What the How are people getting in here? I can't reach that, pal. Wait. Can I reach that? Come on. Oh. Uh, eh, it's gone. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Um how you doing? So I remember you actually have to go through the area that you're in and solve the puzzle in that area to progress to the next area. It's actually pretty cool. And every time you progress to a new area, it's like a whole entire new environment, new puzzle, all that stuff, of course. But then you get new monsters, new enemies, and it's absolutely terrifying. I'm playing this way too late, dude. It's literally 1 a.m. I don't know why I'm playing this in VR. Where am I headed now? Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, dude. Hey, pal. W what's going on here? You all good? Oh, there's one of the seals. This is not good. I'm like in a big maze area. Oh, shit. So Labyrinthine is way more fun to play in VR. That's for sure. I did expect it to be a little bit better since it did win VR game of the year. It's still very, very fun. I just had a couple issues. I did expect it to be a little bit more interactable, maybe have some arms and stuff, because like I said, it did win VR Game of the Year, so I kind of set high expectations for it, um, but it was still very, very fun nonetheless. This game is better in VR, 110%. Uh, what? Who was ripping that thing? So after I completed the first two chapters, I decided to go back to the main menu and head and check out a new location. And to say it was sketchy was an understatement because I have never played this location even on the normal version back in the day. So it was all new in VR and all new in general. I'm not even gonna lie. Do not enter. Oh shit. I don't even know how I ended up here. Is this is my backpack. It's not my backpack. Do I get anything? Anything at all? Oh, I still have my stuff. That's good. Oh, bet. Show, you gotta be kidding me. What is this, dude? Oh, hell no. This gotta be a joke, right? Not. Not in VR, dude. Does this have better visibility? It does. Okay. Oh, shit. It's that guy again. Okay, we're going the complete opposite way he went. One thing I like that's now in the game that wasn't before that I don't remember was in the game before, might have been, I just didn't realize, is objectives. Now it tells you what you have to do. And you have to complete those objectives to obviously, well, you know, escape the area you're in or survive. So it's actually cool. You got to try to do the objectives while being hunted down by whatever monster you're in there with, which can be completely random also. There's the valve. Okay, objective updated. We got the valve. Nice. We're, we're making progress down here. This place is gnarly. Boys, we got a bit of an issue. What the? Found the Minotaur. Does he see me? Oh, shit. He's coming. Shit, he's coming this way. Oh, shit. Coming this way. Hold on here. I got a technique. Check this out. Hold on. This is tactical play here. No shot. Oh. So, as you can tell, that didn't go to plan at all here. And you have multiple lives as well, so if you do mess up one time, you can go back and reset and run it back again. So that's kind of cool. It's not super harsh. There is one thing I would like to say that is absolutely brutal, and that is playing this game like I did for some reason at 1 a.m. by yourself with no friends solo. I don't know why I decided to do that, let alone in VR. It's just... It's a recipe for disaster, okay? That's all there is. And just being there in VR, like I said, just made me feel that much more on edge, dude. Especially it being so late at night. Oh, hell no. Nah. Minotaur? What the f Yo, who's there? Uh, what? Okay, I don't know if that's that same guy. Who is that? Hell no. What the f is that? Yo! Okay. I forgot it does that. 
Holy shit. This narrow AF. Better make sure. What the fuck? Okay. I got about a two and a half foot span right here. And then that's coming down here. No, okay. Really? So Labyrinthine in VR is definitely an experience. I recommend checking it out. And I want to get my buddies on this dude and play some multiplayer in VR because I bet the experience would be absolutely phenomenal. Does it deserve VR game of the year? I don't know. That's up for you guys to decide. I had a ton of fun playing it. I feel like there is a couple bugs with the game that could be fixed, but all in all, a very fun game that is actually, in my opinion, genuinely terrifying in VR because of the jump scares that this game has, dude. And I haven't played it a whole lot, so some of the jump scares could really catch me off guard and it was just an absolute blast but you guys i think we're gonna wrap this video up today here i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i had a ton of fun making if you guys like to see me play any other games let me know down below and i'll definitely check them out now yeah if you enjoyed drop a like and sub i would really appreciate it thank you for tuning in see all of you in the next video